I now just realized that it's something really stupid. I just did a whole vision video for like 25 minutes. <clears throat> and I didn't have the freaking sound on. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is Ant-Man, the future version. Um, the first thing you're going to notice about this character is uh, his... For some reason, he's considered a defensive tank. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, he's not. He, he's an offensive burst champion. 100% uh, offensive big-time burst champion. But anyway, um, I guess that mistaken tagging will come in handy later. Uh, so anyway, uh, he works well with, as usual, uh, Mr. Fantastic is going to give him a little damage boost with the debuffs. Um, and I use Magneto just to give him a little bit more oomph. Um, the first thing you will notice, though, is he has a pathetic amount of attack. And there's a good reason for that. <laughs> because, uh, as I'm about to show you here, let me show you some other champions, even with weak attack. Look at Mr. Fantastic. His attack is also pathetic, right? But he has 6,000 more health. Let me see. 3,400. There's others with over 4,000 attack at rank 3. And this guy's, meanwhile, the equivalent of a rank 2. I have some rank 2s that have the attack. It's the same as this guy. But check this out. So his abilities. First of all, um, I do not have him duped. I'm sorry about that. So... Um, incoming bleed and incinerate uh, suffer up to a 90% duration uh, reduction, which is insane. So he, he already he, he doesn't really have any utility when he's not, besides power control, when he's not um, duped. But this just makes him that much better if you can get him duped. Um, when a bleeder incinerate effect... Uh, Including the instant effects, which is the first champion where they've included that, expires naturally on Ant-Man, gaining on having self-repair to repair up to 3% of the missing health uh, over uh, 6 seconds. Self-repair busts are lost when he's stunned. He's just like robots in that. So, another great one, when he would lose more than 10% of his health, um, other than from an L3, <clears throat> reduce the damage to 10% of his health, and then gain a self-repair of up to 5% out. See, so you get 5% of it back over 12 seconds. It doesn't say that it stops when you stun, but I, I'm guessing it does. Anyway, so he has a 10% chance for all incoming attacks that land a strike into a block to glance, right? Uh, his glancing abilities do not work with against champions with pierce so pierce champions are going to be great against him um you're going to definitely if you're fighting this guy you're going to want to use hulkling or you're going to want to use anyone with pierce i guess valkyrie um at the start of, of each fight uh he gains an encroaching this is like a big thing for him his encroaching power detonation passive okay this thing never goes away it's constantly on them and if they shrug it it comes right back um, it lasts for 14 seconds, can't be affected by ability accuracy, um, which I don't know if you can shrug it or not. I'm guessing that means you can't, but maybe you can. I don't know. Upon X3, drain 40% of their power. Uh, where is it? I accidentally clicked the button. Of their current power and inflict a power detonation passive. Another one, basically. Uh, whenever the debuff expires for any reason, reinflict it which I don't know why they had to say that twice. The encroaching power detonation is indefinitely paused and is unpaused when you're attacking. So if you're not attacking, it's doing nothing. Uh, as a defender, it is also unpaused when he's being punched. So if you have any champion that can do damage, uh, I guess Quake, that can do damage, um, you won't have to worry about that without if you're not touching him. Um, when the opponent suffers from power detonation passive, all hits inflict a 15% potency instant disintegration, uh, dealing 500 uh, dark damage, which isn't a lot, but we're going to get into uh, why that can be increased big time. His combat power rate 
uh, you can reduce that, which is why I still have Mr. Fantastic in there, who also reduces it by another, what, 25%? And 40% for passive power gain. Um, when the power detonation expires naturally, inflict a 15% potency disintegration debuff, dealing 3,525 direct damage over 24 seconds. It's paused during Ant-Man's special attacks, which is going to come in handy later. So, his nano armor up, right? He starts each fight with one, which is increases his armor by essentially zero. Uh, it tanks Glad's uh, by up to uh, 6%. Uh, he can get up to 10 of them, so it goes to 60%, right? Nano armor effect is definitely up to uh, 5 uh, while attacking any additional. Um, last for 4 seconds and expire one at a time. Uh, up to a total of 10. And you can get 10 instantly with your L3. I'm just going to say that now. Additionally, all nano armor effects are paused during either champion special attacks. Intercepting the opponent gets you 2 of them. Um, hitting the opponent during their heavy attack gets you another one. Uh, one. Each time uh, he glances at Ant-Man, he gets another one. Uh, attacks that... Is, so you don't even have to do any of the intercepting or anything. Just parry and you'll get... You know, they're going to glance most of the time. Attacks that intercept Ant-Man cannot glance and remove one nano of armor. So when you're fighting him, you can use anyone technically. And you're still going to take that passive damage. But you will remove this glancing crap. Uh... Whenever a nano uh, armor up buff fails to trigger, is removed for any reason, uh, it turns into a passive. So this this makes some someone like Domino or anyone like that, uh, it actually just pisses them off more. Essentially, um, it's the only way I can explain it. Uh, when Ant Man has more than five um, armor up buffs, which is why you want to keep gaining them, he gets a surging storm, which gives him two thousand. It, it gives him. 50% more attack, I believe, or almost, it's more than that. It's almost 100% more attack. It doubles it, basically. The encroaching power detonation expires 200% faster, which is fantastic. The more you can expire it, the better. The opponent is more aggressive while the surging storm is active, which is also great. When the opponent's combo under glances, like if you fuck up and they combo you, it stuns them at the end of the combo, um... If they glance, which they will glance. Um, on the fourth light attack, this is an interesting one, right? You're not going to understand this until you play him. So, <clears throat> until you understand his rotation. So, if you have a special two or three available, the highest level special attack is disabled. So, if you have a two available, which is what you're going to want to do, um, it's going to disable it to a one. And then you can throw your L1 right after you do the light attack, right? And the reason you wouldn't want to do this, it's non-contact, by the way. The reason you want to do this is because um, you want to inflict the disintegration buff, which does 3,000, you know, whatever, direct damage over 24 seconds. So it's a very long one, and you can get a max of two, right? So the more stacks, I'm just going to tell you now, the more stacks of this you can get, the more damage you can do on your L2, and it's significant. Um, which is why we can go back to why his attack is pathetic. It's because he does a significant amount of damage through passive uh, damage. Um, uh, and it's paused during his special attack. So if you spam him, you're going to pause him. You're not wasting time or anything like that. Um, this ability scales with the base attack only, sadly. Um, the final hit does not grant power and drains 15% of the power for each disintegration debuff on the opponent. And you can get around four of them on there, I believe. Um, each hit inflicts for his L2 10% uh, potency instant di disintegration. Again, lowering their combat power rate, dealing 4, what is it, 4,700 direct damage. This ability gains 100% potency for each disintegration do you have on the opponent huge with this l3 you only really want to use this if you want to get more disintegration debuffs and also um uh yeah just more disintegration debuffs the damage is a little bit weaker for the l3 but it's still significant and it's much more significant than the l1 
Um, the L1 it does damage, but you're basically only using it so you can stack more of them. Um, each it, uh, what is it? Uh, you gain 10 nano armor buffs, which will expire over time, but they're very helpful. I mean, 10 of them, it's a thousand armor. I mean, for whatever that's worth, you know, it is what it is. And it also keeps you in your swarm mode, which is what you want. So it is helpful in that way, but most of the time you're going to be in swarm mode. So that's pretty much it for him. Um, I'm trying to make this quick. Uh, my videos seem to be too freaking long. Like, I don't know who's going to watch all this. Maybe in the future when someone wants to do a deep dive. Uh, these are, guess, I'm guessing, deep dives into these champions. Um, so, yeah, you basically... It, it's uh, Long story short, the rotation for him, in my opinion, is... Uh, Arguably, you can go to the L3 first if you feel like it, um, because it has a 60% or 60 second duration, so that's a very, very long one. Um, I would do that just to get the extra one on there. I don't think it has a stack, a minimum, a max stack. I'm guessing because you can't get many of them even over 60 seconds. He doesn't have like a power gain mechanic so yeah i don't know maybe on certain buffs he's gonna be broken if there's any sort of power gain but anyway um you want to do that and then you want to go ahead and skip right go you know move all the way up to your l2 and end with a light combo and just keep spamming l2 two times and then you want to hurry up and get to your l2 and then bomb him with it and it's going to do a very, very, very lot of damage. Uh, I'm probably not going to do it perfectly here. In fact, I'm probably going to fuck this up. But we're going to go ahead and do this now. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about, the damage here. And you can decide for yourself if this is a good champion or someone that you would want. Again, a lot of his utility has to do with power control and <clears throat> incinerate and bleed um, duration. So, for whatever that's worth, you know, that's good. And he does have the repair thing, so that's cool, too. He might have a relic that's good for him, but honestly, guys, I I simply do not have enough relics to, you know, say which one's good or not. So, let's go ahead and fight. I've already set up everything. I'm going to have to turn off the volume. It's going to be loud, guys. Just give me one second. Okay, so what we're gonna do immediately? Actually, let's 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 try to do intercepts with this guy. This you know these this this guy in Realm of Legends is a pain in the ass when it comes to trying to intercept. Okay, I I screwed up already, but whatever. We don't need those debuffs. It's fine. Let me just check. Let me check something here. So nano armor buff surging storm. Okay, is that a surging storm that's active? No, that's his glancing. So the surging storm is active right now. If you if you could somehow keep if you can somehow keep the, the keep doing the heavy attacks. Which, by the way, he's one of the few champions that has nothing on his heavy attack. But if you can keep him active, guys, um, I think Mr. Sinister would be very helpful here for you. You know, I'm just curious about... Alright, that's to disintegrate. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. We're going to get to the L2, right? And you're like, oh shit, don't do that. Here we go. Just going to do the L1. Boom. Let's go ahead and go back to the L2. Boom. Right? Let's do the L2 now. Oh yeah, daddy. I like that. I like that damage. Oops. 
Anyway, he's glancing. So yeah, it's I mean it's 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 significant. I, I I really like this guy for damage, guys. I gotta say, I like the damage. He's pretty much gonna die here. I should probably just throw an L1 to kill him off. Yeah, he's a dead man. So yeah, guys, uh you can probably do a better job there and also keep Mr. Fantastic's buffs. Active, so you see the disintegrate did a decent amount of damage there. Uh, specials don't do much, but uh, his specials are also tied to disintegrate, so it's hard to tell. Uh, his basic attacks did a decent amount of damage as well because of the uh, increase in attack when he's in swarm mode. And you've seen without intercepting or doing any of that weird shit, he keeps those things active, so it's pretty good. 129 hits, you know. <sighs> Is it good? I don't know. This this is this is up to you. This is up you know, this is gonna be on you guys if you like him or not. Um for a tech champion overall I believe he has one of the best, um, if not the best damage outputs. Uh maybe Ultron or Nimrod maybe uh, um a duped Captain Sam maybe does more and more reliable damage and he doesn't have to worry about dealing with bishops and energy resistance but yeah guys uh you know it's a disintegrate uh, nobody's immune to disintegrate so right now this guy will be very valuable for dealing with um fights uh medium fights i would say not long he's one of the few ones where i feel like he's going to be great for medium um length fights um viv vision uh, which I screwed up on. She's a short fight killer. Um, but this guy, medium fight. Arguably short fight, I don't know. Maybe you could just, instead of going to the L3, you can uh, just go ahead and do the L2. Uh, the light ending L2 to L1 twice. And then go to his L2 and just bomb him with that. Uh, maybe you can bomb him multiple times with the L2 and stack it up. I'm not sure. I'll have to do a little bit more testing, but from what I've seen so far, this is how you want to play them. Um, if you have any ideas, uh, you want to see any videos, or you have any ways you can play them better, you know, I'm human, you know what I mean? I'm not perfect. Um, I'm not Seton. You know, he's the god of all this. So, yeah, um, just let me know what you think, and if the video's all right, let me know. And yeah, I'll be definitely be doing more. I get all the champions. I'm not a whale, sadly. But, um, you know, if I get more money, I'll try to get these champions, you know, how, what is it, six months before when they sell them for ridiculous prices. I'll try to get them then. But uh, yeah, when they come out in the featured, I'll get them every time. I've already got Viv Vision, him, and Kate Bishop. So hopefully I get the other ones and we'll see who's best. So far, this guy is arguably the best. Um, Kate Bishop's, or excuse me, Vivision's Vision's right there. Kate Bishop's close to. They're pretty similar in their damage output and what they can do. So yeah, guys, have a good one.